Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jen here from Blogging Bulletin. And today's video, we're going to be going over how to use Pinterest to get website traffic. Now, if you're not already aware, Pinterest is a social media network. Really, it's an awesome visual um, search engine. Let me log in and I'll show you around. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going over what Pinterest is, how to get set up with your own free Pinterest account, and how to use it to drive loads of traffic to your website. Okay, so let's dive in. Let's go over to my home feed. This is one of the accounts that I manage for the blog Millennial Next Door. Now, as I mentioned, Pinterest is a visual search engine. This is how it works. You go to Pinterest to find stuff, just like you head over to Google to search for something. You go right to the search bar and you can type something in like how to bake a vegan cake. And with Google, if you type in how to bake a vegan cake, you're going to get a huge list of search results with uh, text-based, results just like this you can see this shows you lots of different resources and websites to help you solve your inquiry how to bake a vegan cake with Pinterest it's the same except for it is image based so you can go through here and using the images pick which pin you want to explore further so if you decide that this vegan vanilla cake looks tasty and you want to try to bake it you can click into the pin and on this page, you'll get more information, including where the pin lives, the title, and then some pins, uh, like recipe pins, for example, um, may have things like this, where it says, try this pin, and this actually may be for all pins. But this is really cool because people who try the recipe can post their results of baking the cake. So that's really helpful especially for recipes, you can see that all here, so how it turned out for them. Okay, so once you click into the pin, you can click again and it'll take you to the website where you can learn how to bake a vegan cake. And so this is how Pinterest works. Okay, so let's head back. All right, so how does the website traffic piece work? <clears throat> well, anytime people click on these pins, it takes them to a website, and that's how they get website traffic. It's really simple. Pinterest has been a quietly kept secret for a long time. It's really been exploding in the blogging scene, particularly, though, over the past several years. And it's a great resource that bloggers use to get tons of traffic to their blog. So. If you're looking for website traffic, I highly recommend you check out Pinterest. It's great for all kinds of things. Um, aside from getting traffic to your blog or website, you can also use it to drive traffic to your YouTube channel, to your TikTok channel, um, to your LinkedIn profile, lots of different places online. So this is how you get started with Pinterest. First, head to Pinterest.com. Once you're here, you're going to sign up. So you will fill out this information here to sign up and go through that process for registration. And with that first step, you've already created your Pinterest account. So you can see it already has a feed here and it has the account. You're going to go through a few more questions to help kind of custom create your personalized home feed for Pinterest. So I'll go through that with you here. Tell us what you're interested in. If you're doing this for your business, which is primarily what this video is for, you're going to want to click on interest related to your business. That way you can kind of check in on the competition and see what other people are doing. Okay, so it's creating your feed here. Okay, so you're all done. Let's head over to settings and let's build up the account. All right, so here 
you want to add a keyword rich profile. And when you're looking for keywords, you're going to go to search on Pinterest and type in things related to your business. So if you're in personal finance, for example, you can type in personal finance. And these are all the keywords you can include in your description. Personal finance tips, books, quotes, organization, etc. You can also do spinoff and you can use like budget or budgeting or frugal living, depending upon your niche and sub niche for your business. Okay. And then you can add your location if you'd like to. All right, so these are your account settings here. This is where you can connect your website and claim the site on Pinterest, as well as claiming other social media. You can monitor and manage all your notifications here. This is privacy security and then apps all right now with pinterest there are two different kinds of accounts there are personal accounts and these are for ordinary people that are using pinterest as a visual search engine so they're collecting pins on diy things and home decor and recipes and whatever their interests may be and then there are business accounts used by business owners to drive traffic and create a bustling presence on pinterest you're going to want to get a free Pinterest account. I'm sorry, a free business account. And you'll do that by going here and you'll just click add a free business account. It's totally free. And the business account will add more information to your Pinterest uh, account. It'll add analytics so you can see information about your pins to see how they're doing. <clears throat> Learn more about your customers and demographics, see where they're coming from, what pins they're interested in, and more stuff like that to help you improve your Pinterest account and get to know your customers better. Okay, and you can see I clicked like one or two times and the account is already created, uh, converted to a business account. And you can tell because it has like ads and analytics. And this dashboard uh, navigation here has changed. Okay, so what are we going to call you? I'll just put Millennial Living. This will just be a, a second account for Millennial Next Door, which I already manage. Okay, Millennial Living. I'll just leave it like that. All right, so you're all set here. Okay, so let's go back to your profile. Okay, so this is a blank business account profile. You're gonna wanna fill this up. I'm just gonna go over a couple things real quick so the video doesn't run too long. And then we'll wrap things up. The first thing are your pin boards. Your pin boards are collections of pins. So we're gonna wanna add a minimum of 10 boards. And I won't add 10 here, I'll just show you how to add one. Okay, so, uh, whoops, let's go back. Okay, so this part is off screen, but when you click this plus sign, you can add a pin, if you can see it down here, which is what I accidentally clicked, or you can add a board, and board is just below that. So I'm gonna click board, and for the boards, you want to be specific, so really niche down as much as you can. So for this one, I'll do something like frugal living, and that'll be that. And then once you create your pin board, again, you'll want a minimum of 10 boards. 
Each board should have a minimum of 10 pins just to get you started. Once you create the boards, Pinterest will make some suggestions and you can just seed the boards with these pins here. And you can add your own pins as well. Okay, so I just did that a few times, but you'll want to have at least 10 there. Okay, and then you're going to want to have a board description. So if you click these three dots here, you can click edit and it'll let you adjust your board. So just like for your profile for your Pinterest account, you're going to want to write a keyword rich um, board description. And then down here, um, this is if you want to make it a secret board, which I wouldn't recommend if you're trying to get more exposure and traffic for your website. Secret boards are really things that you keep for yourself. Like, say you see some cool, fun pin designs on Pinterest and you want to look at them a little longer, you might create a secret board of pin designs. And so um, everyone who visits your Pinterest profile won't see that secret board, only you'll be able to see it. And then once you're done, you can click done right here. Now you'll notice you can add a board cover as well. And the board cover options are going to pull from your Pinterest board. So you can scroll through here and, and see which cover you want to make for this pin board. What you can also do is if you want to have designed board covers, once you create your design, you're going to want to pin it to Pinterest on your account in this board. And then it'll show up here. And you can just select it and save. And that's how that works. Okay, now when it's time to pin, I recommend pinning a minimum of 25 times per day which may sound like a lot, but you can literally do five or 10 pins in less than five minutes. It goes really quickly. So you're gonna wanna pin relevant account or re relevant pins to your Pinterest account based on whatever your niche may be. And let's head over to the home feed and I'll give you some examples. So the first thing you can do, fill this out real quick. You can go to the interest search bar and type what you're looking for and pin that way. And all you do is click save here and it'll have the list of your boards and you can save to one of those or from here you can also create a board and save it to that one. If you're trying to pin or yeah, if you're trying to pin from your website, you're going to start at your website. So I'll go to Millennial Next Door and I'll pin from there. Pinning from your website is super easy. You'll go to something like this. And if you have social sharing buttons like these or these, you're just going to click the one for Pinterest and it'll pop up the pin and it may be a little different based on the social sharing uh, tool that you have on your site. And then you just pop it onto Pinterest, really easy. If you don't have social sharing buttons, all you're going to do is grab the URL, go to Pinterest, create a pin. from site and it'll pop up all of the pin images that are available you'll click the one you want to add write your title and keyword rich pin description and then go ahead and save it to your pin board and that's how you do it from your site okay let's head back to the home feed all right, guys, so that's a really quick tutorial on how to get website traffic from Pinterest. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave some comments um, 
below. Um, I would definitely appreciate if you could thumbs up and like this video. You can turn on notifications so you can be alerted of when I publish new videos just like this one. And I would love a subscribe as well. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.